Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to talk about how you can take complete control of your Fire Stick, your Fire TV. This is brilliant when it comes to actually being able to navigate it, whether it's syncing stuff, whether it's adding new controllers, headsets, just typing stuff in. This little old thing can be a pain to do any of that, especially, push the wrong button, especially if it stops working. If this stops working, you're in a lot of trouble. And we're gonna show you how to do loads of stuff and we're gonna show you right after we do this. So before we get started, if you can, do remember to hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, check out the rest of the videos. We've got tons of videos here regarding your streaming. If you're a Fire Stick user, a Fire TV user, or just a general streamer, check out the channel. And if you're a regular watcher here, do remember to hit that share button. So when it comes to your Fire Stick, we're gonna take full control of it, but to do that, first of all we need to go to our settings okay so all take step on this one straight across to your settings go to my fire tv and go to about take note of what your device is called at the top there this is my fifth fire tv of all things chris's fifth fire tv take note of that because you're going to need that in a second what we're going to do is take full control of this device with the fire tv app if you don't know what the Fire TV app is, it is in your Play Store. In your Play Store, if you just type in Fire TV, I've got my mobile phone up on screen for you now as well. Type in Fire TV, get this installed and get it enabled. This is so useful, it's unbelievable, especially if your remote stopped working or you've lost your remote or you just can't be bothered to use the remote. Right, once you've got it installed, open it up. What we need to do then is, this is where we had to note down what device we are using. Mine was Chris's fifth Fire TV, so you click on it and that will connect. And you'll see a number come up on screen and you then type it in. So mine was 7111, verifying the pin. And now you see on the phone, that's the phone I'm using there as well, you'll see we have full control of your device and it's moving across left, right, left, right. But not only do you get full control, um, you can have, if you're in apps and everything like that, you can have a keyboard. So you can enter text and everything like that, which is very useful if you're searching. For instance, if you're in the store, go to find. If you wanted to do this, so you can type in if you were looking for something. I don't know what you want to look for. Um, let's just search award VPN. And you see how easy it is to type on this rather than that keypad. Push your enter button, select the one you wanted. And there we go. That search also works within any application as well. And what this helps you allow to do as well, let me just move this phone slightly. Uh, let's go down here for a second. If you needed, say, for instance, your settings or your remote wasn't working, you can go all the way to your settings. You can then go to Bluetooth and remotes. Amazon Fire TV remotes, you can either try and fix it here or add a new one. This is the best way to resync a remote if you can't get it to sync. And a lot of people ask that question, how do you sync a remote? This is why. And then you can go to add new remote, do it from this control pad, add your new remote. It will search for it and it will find it a lot quicker. It's very useful, very simple. You'll also see, let me move this back up there. You also see you've got a settings key. So you can go straight to your settings in a second, just by pushing that top corner there. You've got a sleep key where you can put your fire stick into sleep. You can go straight to your apps and you can even view your apps on your phone, as you'll see there. You view your apps, so you don't need to navigate to them. You can view your apps and just click one and it will open on your TV. How useful is that? Obviously, you've got your home, you've got your free lines button as always, usual stuff, even your Alexa. I'm not going to talk to Alexa today, but it's all there for you as well, all on one brilliant remote. This app is available on your iPhone as well, and you can just put it on your phone. I need to use it more because it's so easy and it makes life so simple. Really easy, really simple. And for navigation wise, it's so responsive, probably a bit more responsive than this remote. I find just a bit slow. Bang, 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 bang. Look how fast it moves. Okay, really simple. You can move them up. As you see there, you've got player controls as well. Play, pause, fast forward. If you scroll up, really simple, really easy. Brilliant. What did you think of that one, guys? I know some of you would have used this before, but we have many new followers. Many new followers here, which I'm sure 
would be very grateful to use an app like that, especially for those who might have lost their remote. I'm going to use this to show people how to sync their remote on a quick video soon as well. So do remember to hit that subscribe button. We will be doing that as a complete setup. I will connect a brand new remote to this device using this application very, very soon. Brilliant. Before we leave, like I said, if you can, do remember to hit that subscribe button. If you're a Fire Stick user on the videos, if you hit the popular section, you will see some of the videos we've had a lot of luck with. Uh, jailbreaking fully set up your Fire Stick is linked underneath. All the settings you need to turn off on your Fire Stick. These videos are closing on 2 million views. That's how important they are and how popular. We've got some install guides for the KODI app. Um, there is a more up-to-date one on the recently with the latest Kodi 20.1 as well, and um, which is doing well. Maybe you want some movies and TV shows. Maybe you want some stuff for a bit more adult related. And maybe you just need some news. It is all here. We also co do coverage on how to watch certain sporting events all on one channel. So do hit that subscribe button and do join the community. Linked underneath, you'll find our Discord where you can come and ask any questions regarding all of this. Um, you'll find our Twitter and Facebook, but Discord is a very good place to be. Brilliant. And as always, before we leave, we do need to have a quick word with one of our partners. Um, we have partners for this channel, which allows us to make you these videos. NordVPN is a great partner of ours. NordVPN bring you a great offer with four months free on your NordVPN service. So with a NordVPN, you get high speed VPN, you get malware protection and tracker and ad blocker all on your device for as cheap as £2.59 a month. A VPN is a great protection between you and the internet. Um, you don't have to use one, but if you are after a VPN, this is one we are partnered with and does help support the channel. There's a few other partnered VPNs underneath, so if you did want to support the channel and you were after a VPN, those links are directly underneath in the description for you. Okay, hopefully that all makes sense. And before I leave, remember, this is your last opportunity to hit that subscribe button. Tell me your thoughts on the video. I hope it was helpful. Um, we've got another few videos coming up. I'm going to be away on holiday, so we've got a few videos coming up which I've scheduled for you. hope they're all useful, and we will see you in a few days. Brilliant. I've been Doc Squiffy. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon.